stream. Today we got an exciting one for you. Um, I just want to say huge shouts out to my buddy Patrick and Weebs in the Woods for gifting me both sword and shield. Um, so basically, I knew that Weebs was going to send over some Christmas stuff. Um, I did not know that they were going to surprise me with Pokemon, uh, sword or shield. They ended up getting me sword. Um, got that in the mail today. I was over hanging out with some family. But over the course of that trip, while hanging out with my family, I got shield. So we do have both of them now, which is really, really exciting. Uh, great to have on the stream, on the channel for you guys. Um, it's going to be really cool to get uh, interacted with you guys on a different level other than just TCG, um, trading card games, and things like that. So today we are going to start a fresh game of Sword, um, but I did um, play some Shield over the weekend, transferring some Pokemon, doing that kind of stuff. But just to bring you um, into a new intro, since we do have both games and I do plan on playing both, I'm going to go ahead and share this new experience with you guys by hopping into some swords. So we got the Joy-Cons, we're ready to go. Um, I did make a post on my Instagram, make sure you go follow that, at PokeTrainerDragonTamer, and also go check out uh, Weebs in the Woods, their website. Use that promo code DragonTamer to get 10% off, you guys. Um, again, that's www.weebs.cool. Um, but let's go ahead and get right into this, you guys. We are going to be playing some Shield today. Um, I do have sword and I do have shield, but just to give you guys that fresh experience, we're going to create a new game of sword and we are going to get right into this, you guys. This is going to be so much fun. I am so excited to share this experience with you guys. Um, I love starting Pokemon games from scratch. Uh, we're going to go English for sure. Um, all right, and our guy's name is going to be Dragon Tamer, of course. Getting a little better at the controls um, for the Switch. And okay. All right, registration complete. We are in. GGS, you guys, welcome to the live stream. Beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. Very excellent. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon, to do battle, and compete. Um, guys, I am new to the Sword and Shield games, so I probably know just about as much as you guys do. Um, do not know how the trading or playing or interacting um, stuff works yet, but excited to learn. Run into some of these um, trainers that we pull as full art trainer cards, or even some of the Pokemons we pull as full art to rainbow rares and stuff. Um, it's nice getting... A little bit more background, you know, being able to play through the game as well as watching Pokemon Journeys. Um, this is really cool. Getting a little bit more backstory, some lore. Getting that complete feel like we used to as children. Where we have the games, we have the cards, and we have the show. So, for me, in terms of Sword and Shield and the modern era and stuff, this is definitely bringing me full circle. You know I don't lose battles, Ray Home. Charizard Dynamax. We get to see a Dynamax out of the gate. Charizard. 
Leon's Charizard popping the Dynamax right out of the gate. So cool. And that is our intro. Got to see a Charizard Dynamax. All right, so like I said, I did give myself a little intro by playing uh, Shield over the weekend. So kind of gave me an idea, you know, start off fresh with you guys with Sword. Um, play this on the stream um, and then kind of show you guys where I'm at with Shield on other streams. What is up, Weeds in the Woods? Thank you guys so much for gifting me Sword. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram, but over the weekend hanging out with my family and stuff, I did just get gifted shield so I came home to not only the completion of the two but now we have both you guys for the stream which is really really huge so like I said at the beginning uh, huge shouts out to Weebs in the Woods make sure to go check out the website use my promo code Dragon Tamer for 10% off you guys and that is off your entire purchase whether that's trading cards uh, graded cards apparel things like that you name it we got some exciting stuff um, coming up between myself and Weeds, as you guys know, um, they're the official sponsors of the Grim Gang channel, of the Dragon Tamer channel. What is up, Chessy Fries? Time to get another Switch and trade them game exclusives for the decks you already know. Oh, that your flashing phone, Dragon Tamer? Were you watching Weeds exhibition match on it, but you can't cheer him on with your hands full? You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose, or we get lucky. Uh, you know, we get some really cool trades like we did last time. Hop didn't expect to see you here today. Dear, isn't this the big day? It is the big day, guys. If you type an exclamation point title, you guys get to see um, what we're working on on the stream. Uh, this is episode one for Sword and Shield, the rise of Dragon Tamer. Starting off our Pokemon adventure for the Galar region. Seeing what kind of Pokemon we can catch, what kind of trainers we can run into, new followers, subscribers, whatever it may be, guys. But this is episode one. Uh, come with me, Dragon Tamer. He should be here any minute. And we should be picking out our starters really soon. Um, I did pick Grookey for Shield. Um, thinking Score Bunny for this one. Not quite sure. Yeah, I did pick Grookey uh, for for Shield. Grabbing Father's old bag. Press the X button. You can save your progress by selecting Save from the X menu. Okay. I already know how to use all the options. There's a Pikachu plushie, a Nintendo Switch right there. We got our bed we can rest up on. Can't go throughout the rest of the house. So we are just going to head out. Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. All right. Got some really cool movies. I wish they would hire like voice actors to do the cutscenes and stuff. Like that would be really Cool to see that added into these games. Got a cute little Pokemon there. Have a look, Dragon Tamer. That old back bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Alright, so Hoplot has like a little like laptop bag satchel thing and we got like this huge camping bag time to shiny hunt wooloo for hours what's up spartan jorge welcome to the live stream everybody good to see you guys watching a wooloo uh, tackle a gate and we're getting um underway with our journey for sword and shield you guys here on the live stream welcome to episode one Rise of the Dragon Tamer. So basically, for these cutscenes, if you guys haven't played these before, 
um, little quick guide. Just kind of run off to where the characters have run off to. There's a lot to look at, a lot to see. But this is kind of like the tutorial, getting you used to your menus, um, what things look like, just like every other Pokemon game. Still hunting my shiny Wooloo. There's a wall of Wooloo over there. We've got to run over here. This is where we got to meet him. So what's your guys' favorite Pokemon on your guys' team? If you guys play Sword and Shield, let me know what your favorite Pokemon you guys have on your starting six lineup is. And maybe I can catch that Pokemon and uh, maybe name it after you. He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. Hop is very, very impatient. He wants to go. He really wants to get on out there. You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion, which is Hop's big brother, Leon. I always talk to the random people. They might give you stuff. Oh, that was barbecue. The BBQ. Do we head upstairs? Let's see what's upstairs. Oh. So this is Leon's room, I guess. Work, working out a lot and hats. Hats are his thing, I guess. A lot to look at in this game. And when you get to the wild area, you do have that 360 view. So this is a really cool addition. There's Hop down there, down the street. There goes Hop. Just keep chasing him. And now there's tall grass, but we still can't enter. He says, can't dig through in-game trash cans for stuff like the first few games. Yeah, but you gotta figure some things has to have to change to, you know, get better. Let's go and meet Lee at the station. Huge welcome party. I like when you pass people, everyone's like kind of saying something. You don't actually have to stop and talk to people. People are actually walking and moving around. You know? Gotta throw up the L real quick. Alright, so they're talking about basically, you know, not everyone gets to battle Leon. He's awesome, super strong. My wish is for gallery trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. So I like that we actually get like um, a decent story, you know, with some good graphics. I just really wish that the voice actors from like the TV shows and stuff, you know, would help out with the video games. That'd be really cool. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long. Ali, and these bright eyes over here. Talking about us, you guys. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Well, I'm 0-0 as a Pokemon trainer. You're 100-0 as a trainer. We're both undefeated, you know? His total... You know, I dig it. GGS, you guys. We're about to get 
into some really exciting stuff. Um, it's going to be a part of our first, our first six. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Dragon Tamer and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. So I did pick Grookey, guys, for shield. Do I go Grookey again? Or do I get Score Bunny or Sobble? I think I go with one of the other two. Alright, so the grass type Pokemon Grookey, the fire type Score Bunny, or the water type Sobble. Roll a dice for it. Okay, since I'll choose between I'll choose between Score Bunny or Sobble. I'll choose between Score Score Bunny or Sobble, and I'll flip this Eternatus coin. You guys. Heads or tails. I'll flip this coin heads or tails, and whichever one we get will be our starter. All right, line up everyone. All right, which will you choose? All right, so heads, you guys. Heads is going to be Sobble. Tails is going to be Score Bunny. All right, I'm just going to do a little flip. So Heads is going to be Sobble. Tails is going to be Score Bunny. Here I go with the flip. And it is Heads. So we go Sobble. Sobble. You're calling us today, boy. And I think I'm going to name my Sobble after my buddy It's Z4. Make sure to go watch his recent video um, on his channel where he just did an unboxing of a Vivid Voltage Booster Box. And guys, if you're also interested in a Vivid Voltage Booster Box or anything like that, graded cards or whatever, uh, Weebs in the Woods is right now on their site, you guys. Um, they do have some TCG stuff up. They do have some graded cards, and they also have some booster boxes, like I said. And that promo code for the merch applies to that as well. So make sure to go ahead over there. Use that promo code Dragon Tamer on some merch, some cards, whatever you guys would like. Um, so we are going to go with Sobble here. And I'm going to name this one after my buddy. It's Z4. Um, I, I told him that his Pokemon that I think would be his starter Pokemon would be an Inteleon because he is a Call of Duty player. Um, he does snipe videos, stuff like that, and Inteleon with Snipeshot. Um, this always reminded me of Z4. So I'm going to name, I'm going to name my Inteleon Z4. All right. And we got the first Pokemon of the Grim Gang, you guys. My boy Z. Join me. Join me, Z, for this adventure. So it'll be Sobble for you. And he's going to go with Score Bunny. He actually chose the Sobble when I chose Grookey. So that means Leon's going to take the Grookey here. Aw, oh, Grookey is definitely the cutest, dude. Grookey's the cutest. And I like the fact that they actually show where all three go. Like, there's not one that's just left behind. All right, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. All the starters are definitely good choices, because when you get to those certain gym leaders and uh, mistypes and stuff like that, it's definitely really handy to know, like, grass, poison... Uh, fire fighting um, I'll even mix it up sometimes and do like um, if they can learn the move some electric and water um, Huge huge plus having a Gyarados on your team You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours right hop you two getting on all right understanding one another Maybe even built up a bit of love Of course, I have Lee dragon tamers made friends fast with his Sobble too then listen up, new trainers, believe in yourself and all your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the only one who will be coming to challenge you. 
If you think Dragon Tamer might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in battle against your friend. If he's up for it, time to use some scratch, some tackle. That's about it. Let's see what moves we got. Get up to level six, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon trainers alike. Then let's do this, you guys. First Pokemon battle. Outside in the backyard, right before the barbecue. It's about to go down. Episode 1, Rise of the Dragon Tamer. GGS, you guys. It's about to get wet. Almost said it's about to get heated. But we got solid. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Hop, and he sent out a woo. See, it's kind of unfair. Here it is, too. We got Zeon out there. So we're going to use some Pound. Looks like that's all we're going to use. Oh. We eat those. It's nothing. It's, it's nothing. Easy. Easy work. And we got water gun. First battle ever, you fight two Pokemon. And now we got that water gun. So we're gonna go ahead and use that for the type disadvantage. And that's just gonna one shot score bunny. Alright, so Hop's obviously mad. And Dragon Tamer, you've got a real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make him both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon Gyms. You, join the Gym Challenge. You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region. Not putting the cart before the Rapid Ash here, little brother. Okay. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially you, friend Dragon Tamer. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokédex. A trainer's Pokédex helps them learn a lot about things, about all the Pokémon out there, including their strengths. It's more than just collecting data, you know. It's a record of trainer's love and passion. All the passion, you guys. Looks like it's off to the research lab. Um, it was cool, kind of, that I did play a little bit of S.H.I.E.L.D. because now I know how to, like, change my clothes, um, and all that little stuff. Here's our first little, like, adventure. Uh, Wooloo gets away, and we have to go find Wooloo, you guys. Let's go save it. Alright, so here's where we're going to encounter our first wild battles. Uh, we still can't catch anything. We don't have any Pokeballs yet. But, we got to go save a Wooloo. Alright, and it is a Squabet.
I love the animations for some of the moves in this game, by the way. Um, Dynamaxing as well. Huge. Looks amazing. Alright, we got through our first patch of grass. Here's Hop. So, if you talk to the NPCs, um, a lot of the times they'll heal your Pokemon. Or they got some camps. You can sneak around. But this part of the game, I think uh, you run into every single one. Um, just kind of like a tutorial on how to battle. And we're just going to keep using Pound. Um, it's the most effective thing early on. For sure. Alright, Ruka D. Knocked out. KO. We're at level 7 so far, you guys. Um, I know my camera's blocking that, but we are at level 7. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? And another Squabbit. Yeah, guys, I'm really excited. Uh, make sure to tune in every time I go live because I really want to do raids and stuff with you guys, trades, all that good stuff. Um, and just see where your guys' Pokemon journeys are at. We're just going to keep using Pound. Pound, Tackle, whatever it is. It's the most efficient. All right, so we're about we're about 20 minutes into our Pokemon journey, guys, and we're already so immersed into the story. We already got our starter. We already got a few battles underway, um, and we get some really cool dialogue, which is really really cool. So we're hearing like howls in the music. That's what I guess they're hearing. Um, they're hearing some sort of Pokemon down here. Let's go see what it is. Just Hop and I trying to go rescue this Wooloo in the darkness. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. But then... Oh, looks so cool. The Zamzanetta that I ran into looks really cool, but I think I like the Zassian a lot better. The braids look awesome. What kind of version is that? All right, so I guess we're going to have to try to fight it. Um, I couldn't run away from the Zamzanetta, but I tried. It was just absolutely impossible. So let me know in the comments, guys. Do you guys like Sword better? Do you guys like Shield, Zamzanetta, Zacian? Uh, what's your favorite starter? Let me let me know. Definitely let me know. Dragon Tamer, I can't see anything. You okay? Yeah, we're just going to keep fighting. We're not going to run. Just going to keep fighting. My Sobble has heart, you know what I mean?
I can't see anything. Oh. All right, governors. What just happened, you guys? I'm knocked out. Okay, we're up. I got it first. Oh, sick. Where was your Charizard? You know what I mean? Where was this Charizard when this was all going down? All right. Oh, there's Charizard. Look at that. Charizard's a big softie. He's making sure Wu's okay. Look at him. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seem to pass right through. Your moves pass right through it, so the fearsome Pokemon, they say, live in the slumbering weld. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough, and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. Wow. Episode one, huh? Don't forget to tell your mom. We're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word even worse than we just did. I had a hard time reading that. Alright, so we gotta go talk to mom. So we got what we needed to get. So now we can run and meet Hop down here. We'll go check this out one more time. And we're off. Alright, so we gotta get to that purple building, the research, the research lab. Um, can't go that way, we gotta roam through these Pokemon. It's tough to see all of them, but you might as well just battle them, um, help level your Pokemon up, even though you can't catch them. Looks like we do have a few Pokeballs now, so that's cool. wonder how many it gives you. I think it's like 20? Let's see. Oh, five. My bad. Not 20. I don't know where I got 20 from. Oh, let's go, Pikachu. They give you a ton of Pokeballs up the game. Get into one more battle on this grass. And it's a Caterpie. It's 
Sable's going to come in handy against Kabu. That was really, really tough with the team I had going up against him in shield. Alright, so here's the welcoming crew. And then just Charizard just comes up out of nowhere. Gotta give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bow Wark. It's a yamper. All right, so Sonia, you see Sonia. Alright, so we got the Pokédex now. Alright, so I like that they have Pokey Centers, like actual Pokey Centers. The Pokey Mart and the Pokey Center um, is all in one spot. It makes it super, super convenient. All right, let us heal up a sobble. All right, so little uh, tip. Don't spend a lot of your money at the beginning um, if you're looking to buy like clothes and stuff for your character. Um, I did make that mistake <laughs> in Shield where I bought Pokeballs and a ton of stuff, and with which left me no room to customize and do stuff like that. Um, I ended up doing some trainer battles and flying back and purchasing, but if you want to do that right out of the gate, um, I suggest you know saving a little bit of your money. You will find potions, revives, all that kind of stuff as you go and play, so definitely don't waste your money. And also, too, in these clothing rooms, 
This is that the changing room over here. So after you purchase your clothes, just walk over to the back uh, right for the changing room. So let's go ahead and design the character real quick. All right. Oh, with the shuckle, I like that. Casual Arcanine tea for 30,000 out of the gate. What do you say? Now we're gonna keep it a uh, little more, a little more basic. We're gonna go with, we're gonna go with the black stripe top. And we're gonna go with the hoodie. Gonna go with orange, the dragon tamer orange. Then we're gonna go pants. Then we go like tan. Socks, we can match with the orange. Gotta find the orange first. Um, there it is. So those are cropped leggings. I need socks. The loafers. They also will have different style bags um, when you go to other places, shoes and things like that that you could buy. I think I'm gonna get rid of that bag right now for sure. They don't have an orange. Let's go with the white. Oh, whoa, I did, I, I did not see these hats. Really like these ones. All right, so this is just us getting started on our journey. You know, we're just starting out. We'll go with the white. I think we just mess around and get him some loafies. Looks like he's about to go play golf. I like that. Like the vibe. All right, so it already put my outfit on, but if you ever want to change to the other stuff you purchased, you just walk back there, um, through that back um, door. So now we're all good to go. So now we've changed. Now we can continue. Meet Hop. Yes, sir. It's all about the money. You gotta be indoors. All right, we're gonna walk in here. Always check the houses, you guys. You never know who might be giving away a Pokemon, wanting to do a trade, something like that. Some people might give you some TMs. They might even uh, give you some Easter eggs. You know, you never know. Just always uh, talk to the Pokemon, say hi. 
I think these were the two little kids that were super smart. They're like learning from this guy. Yeah. Alright, so he's going to teach us how to catch a Pokemon. All right, so now we got to catch some Pokemon. Bring out some Pokemon, see what we're working with. You'll be a good first. Alright, and our first official Pokemon we have Cotton. Cotton is a Nippet. We are at level 8, and Sobble learned, learned Bind. No, we'll go at him. Is that a chewdle?
Yeah, all these Pokemon right here you should be able to catch without waking them. Alright guys, when I hit the um when I hit the professor's lab, I am going to end the stream. Um that'll be it for today's episode for Sword. Huge shouts out to Weebs in the Woods. Guys, um, I can't thank you guys enough for the donation of this game and also to have both games now unexpectedly. That is just really, really awesome. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the intro. Um, got our starter Pokemon, named him after Z. Uh, might as well catch this Yamper for you guys. Um, everything's been going great. This is super, super cool. Um, definitely an awesome, awesome Christmas present to get both games. Um, not only that, just the whole Switch and the two games all in the month of December which is super super awesome so make sure to go over to Weebs, uh, Weebs website like I said you guys show them support what they do over there is amazing um, www.weebs.cool promo code Dragon Tamer again you guys that's on TCG merch all the good stuff um, Yu-Gi-Oh Dragon Ball Pokemon they're into it all over there you guys uh, they help me out a lot um, I can't thank them enough um, had a, a call with them actually I should tell you guys this before I go we have some really really exciting things uh, planned and in store for you guys um, so definitely keep those notifications on keep those bell um, icons on whatever you guys got to do to uh, basically stay notified can we just walk around you Haha! -ha. Did it. Oh. Um, yeah, two reasons why this stream is ending. I got some food, and also, yeah, I'm trying to keep these episodes kind of like a Pokemon show, where they're about, um, you know, an hour long. So we'll go ahead and get into this last battle. Go ahead and see what the professor has to say save our game, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Gonna be eating some chicken, some mashed potatoes, some corn. Oh, it's gonna be so good. These games are so much fun, brought back so much nostalgia, and at the same time, a new twist uh, to the games, which is just really, really cool. That should bring us up to level 10. Youngster Benjamin, it's okay. Raw out here trying to be the very best. There's so many things that are very similar between Ash and Leon. Like, they're both... Like, they both love Charizard or has a Charizard that loves them. They both set out on their journey at 10. Like... They both want to be the super ultra very best. Like, what if Leon was Ash's dad? And Hop and all of them are actually his cousins. Or brothers. Or whatever it is. Uncle.
I was reading and trying to think about that whole process at the same time. It was pretty weird. Um, there are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know, like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Okay, he's calling us rookies. It's okay. So we are both endorsed. Let's see if I can say anything to the assistant. All right. That's cool, I already had a Wooloo that was like his best friend. Score bunny, we're gonna hit him with the water gun. Pokemon are leveling up super fast. Only a level eight, mate. I like that. Actually runs up and does like a little kick. Now we're level 11. It's funny, his brother's like undefeated and then Hop is just always defeated. Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. You got six for All right, so we obtained the letter of endorsement, you guys. That allows us to compete in gym challenges. So about almost an hour in, you guys, this is um, about how far you progress through the game. I mean, you could have sat in that little patch of grass and battled a little longer. Um, probably, you know, gotten a few more levels, made this a little 
would have made this a little easier, but it was already pretty easy. Um, but it's going to be really, really cool. Alright, they do talk quite a bit in this, so be prepared for that. It is more like a, like a movie or story-based. Um, they kind of throw you in the directions. They tell you where to go. Give you little hints uh, along the way, which is really cool. And we get the Dynamax band from The Professor. Really, really awesome. All right, you guys, GGS Grim Gang. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's live stream. That was really, really fun. Uh, we made it to the professor's lab. We now have our letter of endorsements, so now we'll be able to take on the gym challenges. Um, and this is just going to be a ton of fun. Uh, really, really exciting to see who we meet on this journey, whether that be subscribers, followers, uh, Pokemon, whatever it may be, you guys. It's going to be a really, really fun journey. So make sure to click down on the watermark below if you aren't already subscribed to the channel um, come join us on our pokemon journey you guys um, on all platforms make sure to head over to my instagram at pokey trainer dragon tamer and guys do not miss a live stream i'm telling you the stuff that we have planned myself and weebs for the channel whether that be tcg related or game related whatever it is guys you don't want to miss it so huge shouts out to you guys and like i always say you guys work on this Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, you guys. I will see you guys for tomorrow's stream.